My name is John Spinks, Senior Principal Technical Marketing Manager for Red Hat Insights. In an earlier video, I talked about the pre-conversion analysis that you could do before converting a CentOS 7 system over to RHEL. Now we're going to talk about the actual conversion. So in that earlier video, what we did is we took a CentOS 7 system, we connected that system to Insights, and then we analyzed it to see if it was ready to be converted over to RHEL. It wasn't at first. We had to do a yum update, reboot the system. We reran the analysis and it was ready to convert. It was that easy. So now that that system is ready for converting the same system, we're going to go ahead and convert it to rel. From inside of insights, I'm going to go into the rel area. I'm going to return to tasks and at the bottom, I have this convert to rel from CentOS Linux 7. We're going to run that task. This is the same system that I used a little while ago. Select that system and we'll go ahead and execute the task. Click that view progress button. Minimize my left nav. And this particular process can take quite a long time. So we're definitely going to fast forward through this part. I believe last time I tried this, it took about 15 to 20 minutes on this system, which has nothing on it. So in a production system, a system that has been running for a while, this could take an hour to run. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take that long, but we're going to go ahead and let this run for a few minutes and we'll come back when it's complete. So in this case, our conversion took about 13 minutes and the system was converted successfully. If I expand this out, I can see more information such as the excluded packages were removed. We skipped our custom repos or valid check, skipped that the dbus is running check, and any repository file packages were removed from CentOS. So successful conversion, very little effort on our part, thanks to the pre-conversion analysis that we did ahead of time. Clicking the link redirects me to the system inside the Insights inventory, so I can see it listed here with the name the OS of RHEL 7.9. So again, our update was successful. This is now a RHEL 7 machine, so well done. We've moved our system from CentOS 7 to RHEL 7.9. That completes our video on conversions inside of Red Hat Insights. Thanks and see you next time.